So you click trick uh, with a coin. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, now we're gonna sneeze. Am I? <laughs> oh yeah, I'll show you quick trick with a coin. Before we do the review, like it if you like it, subscribe to it if you want to subscribe to it. Please do that because it makes a huge difference. Comment, ask questions. I will be missing stuff out today and I'll forget to say things as I always do and those questions will, 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 I promise, be answered, especially with this one because there will be a lot of them, no doubt. I have played with this extensively and it did feel like play. I really enjoyed it. So with some of these things, I just don't get a chance to get footage before reviewing because it just takes way too long but just know that with everything i sit and learn it watch all the tutorial you know look at all the flaws in it look at the way it works give it loads of tries so looking for consistency so you know that you know this has been in my hands a lot this is from vanishing ink and tim hill of course and it is the appearance of a coin in a glass now I can expose some of this, I think, because on the trailer it's fully exposed, which I think is a wise move. I don't think it's gonna damage it. People aren't really gonna find it. It's quite a niche trick. So my first thoughts with this, when I heard, I heard about this before I saw it, my first thoughts and concerns were, is it gonna be consistent with the way this gimmick in a card box, hidden in a card box, is it gonna be consistent I was thinking, well, some, I can't, can I rely on it? The other thing was, are you going to see it? And that's something that's not as cut and dry as you think. Because a, card fly, a coin flies out of a card box and lands in a glass. The answer to the first question is yes, yes, yes. I have done this hundreds and hundreds of times. It is every time. And it's easy to learn where you need things to be. You can do this with a, a quarter... Uh, 20p, whatever, an English coin, or you can do it with a half dollar. Anything larger than a half dollar, you're going to have issues with. So it works. It works every time. The battery, I haven't run the battery out yet, but it lasts a long time. It doesn't take hours and hours to charge. And it's a solid from how much I've used it, which is about a week of going back to it now and back to it and setting up and playing with it, it's still working absolutely fine. You might be thinking a week's not much, but it feels, it, I can't see any reason for it to go. You may have to adjust things after time, but it does have a one year warranty. And if you've got no problems in that year, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be sorted. Tim is incredibly proud of this. I can tell that by the tutorials. I can tell that by the trailer. And he has overseen the production of this gimmick. So the seeing bit of it, Let's just, so you're going to have a card tape, a card box on a table. You're a magician, you would anyway. Don't worry about that. This can be, you know, after a card trick, it, it's incidental. You can do all manner of things to get that card box in and out. You can switch it if you want to, but you know, my feeling is it's totally fine. Nobody's going to be thinking this is what it is, which is the great thing about this kind of tech. Don't use a phone or anything like that. So it's a standalone bit, bit of technology, a bit of hardware. That's not a problem for me. Some of you may be thinking, well, I'm looking at it and I can see it happening. This isn't a thing where you go, watch the glass. It's, it's a surprise. It, you don't want them thinking it's gonna be in the glass. You've incorporated the glass in some way, but they're gonna hear it. And this is the thing, it's that sound. It's so magical and it's a genuine, like that. They, they kind of instantly gonna put, the jigsaw piece puzzles pieces together <laughs> flies off the tongue doesn't it um and they go blah, 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 and it's there it's one of those very slightly delayed responses and this is part of a bigger trick this is to en enhance a trick and this is what i love about this i do coins across a lot and there's there's kind of no finale to it now i don't mind that they kind of is because each time they're looking more and more and it, it seems to become more difficult but this provides a, a proper finale a kind of surprise they think this is going to happen and it doesn't and there are three or four routines on this that are all brilliant one of them is tim's coins across 
which he teaches in detail. Even that without this is a great lesson. It's a beautiful routine, kind of drawing on Troy Hooser and people like that. And, and that's a great routine anyway, which I've started learning. But that finish, after all this amazing magic, is just great. You can do this as a quick thing. You know, I, with Helen, I just kind of went like that. It's gone, bang, and it, and it was there, and it was a, a genuine surprise. And I quizzed her, how do you think the card box is there? And no idea, absolutely no idea. So you do have to do some arts and crafts with this. The good thing is it's customizable to any deck. Now you do, I sort of threw this together quite quickly for the review. You get a template, so, so, so important. You, it goes through in detail about this, about how to put this together, which is really um, vital. Uh, like I said, you can't do a, a massive coin. And this is it in the card box. Now I'm not gonna do top down because you can see it very clearly on the trailer. This is, this totally works, um, but you know, in, in the tutorial, it says, you know, use the matte tape, the invisible tape, use a card box with a busy back. Now, he had the sort of 808, it is 808, isn't it? Card box where it's like a, basically that on the back. I haven't, and still, I mean, this is really crudely put together, but the eyes just are not drawn there. So I put it together very badly, rushed it out, and it is still kind of invisible psychologically i think and just so you know again this is on the trailer that's the thing you can time it you can have it after five seconds 10 seconds 15 seconds which is quite easy to learn but you, you've got the remote now i was sort of playing with the timings and i thought actually i can have the remote anywhere i've got it down on the floor have it in my hand they thought about this this is big so you can have it with the heel of your hand you don't have to kind of find it and you just kind of it's it's really easy to find because it's so broad that's a really good detail and a very important one like i said any card box with with a back design but i think you can probably get away with a bit more than you think but you're not gonna you know you're not gonna want to make it too obvious and you can adjust how far the coin goes within reason as well he talks you through that You've got to be a little bit careful all right so you don't want to kind of you want to think about this watch your tutorial again and again and again before going through all that stuff but the timing's great but i just think the the it's so versatile this remote that you're going to be able to give it to someone else they could do it or it, it's nice to have that control i really like to have that control and incidentally the remote was added later originally it was the time thing you can set it off by pressing the box so you can kind of move the box press it as you do it, that's best for the timer, and then the thing happens. This is really brilliant. I really didn't think I was gonna say that. I didn't, I was thinking, where can you use that? And the more I think about it, yes, it's best for parley. I don't wanna carry it around with close up, really. I wanna do it where I can have some control over the setting. You could, absolutely, you, because like I said, no heat, but I think I like that control. I love coin and glass routines, so to, in addition to to that routine is brilliant. I really have been thinking about the spook, the weirdness of that, that coin arriving. It's so magical. And of course you can have the card box as a kind of aged card box. I was thinking of a, a kind of, almost like a bizarre trick, like a, a creepy story where, or a seance, seance, seance is, you know, where you have the lights dimmed and it's like, you hear that. And then the eyes are drawn to it and the coin arrives. Just really spooky, really powerful stuff. I'm, it's, I love it. I love playing with it. And he says it's really satisfying. It's easy to kind of fall into that thing of, it's just so brilliant. Really, and then go, where am I going to use that? So do think about that. You know, think about where you're going to use it. Because it's you know, $172 at the moment. I actually think that's pretty good. I don't think that's bad if you're going to use it. You know, a lot, I thought it might be you know, way above that. Uh, so there's nothing really negative about this as yet. Look, I'm not it's three years or anything, but it seems to tick all the boxes, does what it says it does. He exposes the workings of it so you know what you're getting. And I think it's a, I really, really think it's an exceptional piece of work, but with those flaws. Some of you are going to be worried about the noise of it, right? It, do, it isn't silent. And when you're playing with it, it there's this kind of, this, this little sort of, not that what I just made nothing like that absolutely nothing like that noise that I just made but there's a kind of setting off of it and, and instantly when you arm it 
you, you get it ready. It's it's all simple. It, it's it's really intuitive. It's very very clever. But just make sure you watch it all. Now that noise, because of what's happening in the mind of the spectator, it's just not perceived, and it is within the noise of the kind of coin arriving. Now theoretically, it's not because it's kind of a split second before it. But it's just all in the whole thing because they're not expecting it, and that's so important. They cannot be expecting that coin to arrive in the glass, and because they're not. It's just not perceived, it's not processed as being anything. So don't worry about that. So that's Tim Hill's Emergence from Vanishing Ink. It's great, way, way, way better than I thought it was gonna be. I'm, it's one of those tricks where you go, I wanna find a way to use that and I can't, I've got, I've got to have the show and then, oh, maybe I can do that. Because I just think it's, uh, yeah, it's something worth looking at if you're gonna use it. So thanks very much. Thank you Vanishing Ink for that. Thank you for liking and subscribing if you've done that. If you haven't, please do it if you want to do it and have a look at onlinemagic.co. That's my online, obviously, membership site with 900 videos, live sessions every week uploaded on everything and you can request stuff and I'll do seminars. Let's call it seminars to sound posh. Seminars on anything you like. So thanks very much. Have a good one. Take care. Bye.